there! Welcome to Kelsey's Ratchet DIY Studio. Oh my gosh, you guys! Hey guys, my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we're at the Sorry Girls. <laughs> and today we're gonna try and DIY that giant knit blanket trend that's everywhere, and you guys have requested it, so we wanna try it out. Just for you. Just for you. For you. A little bit for us, too. <laughs> and before we jump into the video, remember to subscribe because we do DIY videos and we want to see you here more often. All right, let's let's do this. Hi there. Welcome to Kelsey's Ratchet DIY Studio. So to do this tutorial, you don't have to have knitting needles, but like, how cool are jumbo knitting needles? So we got some uh, PVC pipe here. This is one to one half inch. I don't know why they don't know what size it is. Like, it's one and a half. It's one and a half. Why does it say one to one and a half? Oh, it says one, one and a, and half. a half. This is one and a half inch uh, PVC pipe. We got some black ones. And then you know what? We were like, we have to make these look even more like knitting needles. So we're gonna use some cardstock and some styrofoam balls to like fill out the whole knitting needle look. First, I'm gonna make these balls black by wrapping some black tape around them because spray painting or painting styrofoam balls is actually really hard. Now that these are done, I'm gonna move on to making the tips of the needles. Um, so let's try cutting this cardstock a bit. Okay. It's like a little hat. Nice. Topped it off some tape. Now it's nice and smooth. Okay, and then I guess I'm just gonna hot glue this on the end. Adorbs. All right, so we are going to go on this adventure together making this giant knit blanket. I haven't knitted in quite some time. We have like a really old video on our channel where I explain how to knit. People said it was helpful, so maybe you wanna go check that out as well. But I'm gonna try and relearn it today and add in an extra step to make it look more blankety. So the first thing in making this big giant blanket is getting huge jumbo uh, yarn. So this is the fattest stuff I could find at the craft store. I know they make even bigger yarn that people actually use to make the real big chunky blankets, but just go for whatever you can find, the biggest stuff you can get. So the first step in knitting is what's called casting on, and that's just getting this yarn on your very first row on the jumbo knitting needle. So the first step in doing your casting on is to make a slip knot. So make a like a circle with your yarn, put your hand through it and grab the long bit that's attached to the ball of yarn and pull. And now you have a knot. And then to cast on, you just need one knitting needle to start with. So we can put one of these guys to the side. So now that you have this slip knot, you can go ahead and slide it onto the needle and pull it tight. And then this extra stuff we don't really have to worry about right now. So now to make the other stitches that are gonna go on here, here's what you gotta do. Put your hand under the yarn so that the yarn is wrapping around your thumb, like that. Like you're giving the okay and you've got yarn around your thumb. And then you stick the needle this is gonna be hard because I have huge knitting needles. Stick the tip of your needle underneath and in between. And then you can let go of your thumb and pull tight. And look at that, you already have your second stitch. Super easy. So I'll show you again. Put your hand under the yarn and make the thumbs up sign. And then your needle is gonna go underneath here and out. And then you can let go and pull tight. And I'll show you one more time for good measure. So put your hand under the yarn, make the thumbs up sign, and then your needle goes in between the two pieces and let go. And then you're gonna repeat this for as many stitches as you want. The more stitches you do, the wider your blanket's gonna be. So that's totally up to you. So here's where we now add in our second knitting needle. And the first uh, row I'm gonna show you is just a standard knitting stitch, it's the most basic one that you will learn when you learn to knit. Um, it's pretty much what you see when you see scarves that have like straight lines of knitting, that's what it's gonna look like. So take all these stitches that you just put on your one side and put them in your left hand. Is this couch going to get in the way? So I have it where my row of stitch kind of is at the bottom here, and I'm gonna work with my first stitch here. So I'm gonna put the new knitting needle underneath the first one into the first stitch, so it looks something like this. And then this is my yarn that's attached to my ball of yarn. This isn't the tail, which is down here. We don't need this guy. This is my working yarn, and so far it looks like this. So all I did was stick the knitting needle under the first knitting needle. 
then take your yarn with your right hand and it's gonna go around the top of this knitting needle. So you've made kind of like an X shape. So this is going around in between the two needles. Then you pull this needle out and you should be able to catch that stitch that you just wrapped around and push it onto the new needle and that's creating your new stitch. And then with the new knitting needle, you can push off the old stitch because we're done with that guy. Bye. So now onto the second stitch, we're gonna do the exact same thing. It's gonna go in our loop of yarn underneath the first knitting needle, like that. It's gonna make an X shape. Take your yarn, wrap it around the bottom knitting needle in between the two, like that. Pull this knitting needle out and then you should be able to catch that yarn you just threaded through onto the new knitting needle and then push off the old stitch because we're done with that. We made a second stitch. Easy, right? So again, underneath, wrap around, pull it out, catch that stitch onto the new knitting needle and get rid of the old one. And when you get to the very last stitch, it's the exact same thing. Put your knitting needle underneath so you have this X shape. Take your yarn, go around in between, push this knitting needle down, catch the stitch, and then take it off your first knitting needle. And look at that! You made your very first knitting stitch line. Look at us guys. So talented. So here is how you do the purl stitch. Take your second knitting needle and stick it on top this time of your first knitting needle. So instead of going underneath like we were this time, we're going on top. Take your yarn and go counterclockwise around. And this time you're pulling it on top. So we have it up here at the top. Take the second knitting needle and go underneath that yarn that we just wrapped around. And then you can pull off this stitch. So I'll show you again. So this time we're going on top, counterclockwise and bring it on top towards you. Go underneath and pull it off. And again, honestly, this would be a lot simpler with much smaller knitting needles. <laughs> show you again. Underneath, but this time on top. Bring your yarn underneath and around. It ends up on top. Go under and grab it, and then pull it off. And that's how you do the purl stitch. So again, go ahead and repeat that down your knitting needle. Same goes for your very last stitch. Make an X at the top this time instead of the bottom. Go around grab it and pull it off. And there you go, you've done a purl stitch row. So those are the really only two methods you need to know for this entire project. The knitting type of knit, the knitting stitch, and the purl stitch. And we're just gonna alternate back and forth the entire way uh, until your blanket is as big as you want. All right, so this is what I have so far, a giant, giant blanket. I wanna say this is about seven balls worth of yarn. Um, and it took me probably around like an hour to do all of this. It's pretty much as long as I want it to be, so I'm just gonna show you how you can end your blanket. And this is called casting off. So the first thing you wanna do is put two stitches from one needle to the other needle. So one. Two. And then we're basically gonna be looping the two on the side like across each other every time so that we're eliminating one stitch every time. So you can even do this with your hands, it's pretty easy. It's take your farthest away stitch, bring it over the other one, and she gone. So now we're gonna put another one on. So do one more stitch. Now we've got two again on this side. Take your farthest stitch, loop it over, and get rid of it. All right, so my last stitch on this side, Bring it over this side. Done with this knitting needle. Thank you. So a 
again, take your farthest one, wrap it over, and then now we're on our very last stitch, so we can get rid of that. But then you can just cut off your tail, and then take this and loop it through here, basically tying a knot. Pull it tight. And oh my gosh, you guys, I think we did it. I think we did it. Well, hope you guys like that video. Precious, this is the softest thing ever. Um, so what we figured out is that it kind of looks like a net. It's like a giant fishing net. It's like a giant fishing net. So what do you think happened? I think our knitting needles were a bit too big and our yarn was also a bit small. This is the biggest yarn I could find at the craft store, but I know in the pictures of people making it, like their yarn was like this thick, it was crazy. Yeah. So if you can find super thick yarn, that might help you out. If you can get smaller PVC pipe, that might help you out. I don't know, it was fun to try. Yeah, and it was so, it, like it took you no time at no, all. No, like an hour to whip this together because it was so big. All right, if you guys like this video, make sure that you like it. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. And make sure to leave any future video ideas mm -hmm. below because uh, we check the comments, we respond to the comments, and, and we want to videos. Make, we make videos from the comments. Oh, poor Fern. Oh. I mean, poor Pommy. All right, we will see you next week, guys. Bye. Bye.